Hello everyone, it's me Ash here on Nerd Life with a new game, a new issue of Try It Out here on the Nerd Life. And we are trying out a game called Omerta City of Gangsters. That is O-M-E-R-T-A. Yeah, that's right. City of Gangsters, you can find it on Steam, just came out last week as of the time of this recording. And as you can see, we are creating a character. Character creation. Name your character. Esh. Ah. Uh, Leone. Because we're stereotyping. Because that's what we do. And because Esh is short for Echelon. And Echelone is pretty freaking close to Echelon. Pretty clever. I'm pretty fucking clever. Now we're going to pick our face. This is just an avatar. You don't actually see your face in the game. Except for in this picture form. So it's important. This is important. Uh, we don't want this guy. You don't want this guy. I don't like his. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Don't want this guy because his eyebrow is weird. He's got a pencil mustache. It's kind of rapey. This guy looks like he's gonna have sex with me and everyone else right afterwards. I think we should pick this guy. He's pretty freaking dapper. He's got a bow tie. That's classy. Bow ties are really cool. Obviously, if you watch Doctor Who, you know that. If you don't watch Doctor Who, then you don't know anything. So shut up. Now that I'm done, in, um, you know, making my viewers feel stupid. <laughs> that's how I roll. We're gonna pick our uh, sort of character creation pluses to our main stats. I don't really know exactly what each stat does. I should probably read these. Muscle helps character move at longer distances and perform better with melee weapons. Finesse determines a character's proficiency with all firearms. Toughness. Tough character has higher overall health and is able to survive more hits before being knocked out. Smarts. Um, can w act more often in battle. Guts. A character with high guts is likely less likely to panic during crisis situations and reacts faster at the start of combat. In a battle, a character with high cunning has more action points and a higher critical ch chance. Okay, so... What we really want to go with is probably finesse and maybe smarts or toughness. We'll look through these and see because each one of these options are going to give us two plus ones and one minus one. So we have to sort of trade off. This one gives us plus to smarts and finesse and minus one to toughness. This one gives us cunning and smarts with a minus to muscle. This one gives us toughness and finesse with a minus to smarts. What I'm thinking is we'll go with this because it gives us better damage with pistols and weapons like firearms and then also it gives us life. And that's Hood is our nickname as a child. Then we had the blacksmith, stonemason, and shopkeeper. This is what we were apprenticed at to back in Sicily before we moved to the Americas. The Americas and let's see. This one gives us plus to guts and plus to muscle. This one gives us plus to smarts, plus to toughness. This one gives us plus to smarts, plus to guts. We don't want to get a minus to finesse, we just plused it. We just plus the toughness as well, so really the blacksmith is our only option. It does give us a minus to cunning, which is minus to AP and critical chance. And AP, obviously, just like in um, XCOM, which is what the combat is a lot like, is how fast, far you can move, or how many attacks you can make in a round. Let's see, the most ridiculous feat you managed to pull off during your youth, stealing the key to for village mayor's wine cellar and drinking most of it before you were discovered, wrestling an enraged bull with your bare hands, that's freaking impressive, as a child you did that, sweet talking a local loan shark to forgive your debt and give you even more money just until you are back on your feet. That one's plus cunning and guts, this one's plus guts and muscle, this one's plus cunning and finesse. Let's see, I think we should go with this one. Now, this one is, when you were 16 years old, you fell in love with the prettiest girl in the village. Her brother challenged you to a duel. Since you were challenged, you had to pick your weapon. It was a pistol, a knife, bare fist, or you pick, let your enemy pick because you were confident you could win the battle regardless of what he chose. This one's plus to finesse. This one's plus to muscle, plus to muscle, plus to finesse. Then you got minus to cunning or minus to muscle. I think we'll go with the pistol. You decided to leave Sicily and immigrate to America because the Don put a price on your head after you had an affair with his wife. That's plus to cunning and plus to smarts, minus one to toughness. Vendetta wiped out your family, leaving you and your brother 
as the survivors, you decided to pursue the American dream in the land of opportunities. We'll go with this one because it gives us plus to cunning and plus to toughness. And we'll stack all that. Now, this is our difficulty for the game. We're going to go with medium. And we'll watch this brief little slideshow story. I am. Fresh off the boat. Five bucks in my pocket, dreaming the American dream. I had to get my feet on the ground pretty damn quick. In the land of the brave, the wicked go unpunished. In the land of the free, freedom is an expensive commodity. Even the freedom to have a drink. Success is never about hard work or fate cutting you some slack right when you need it. Success comes from giving the people what they need when they need it. All right, so we're in the map now. We only have one option, so we'll go to Main Avenue here. I got a drink five minutes after I arrived in Atlantic City. The prohibition hasn't changed much here. Tourists still flock to the world's playground for a drink and a round at the tables. Me, Freddy Tonino, and Squiggs got a room in the less prestigious part of town. We scraped up what cash we had and got our hands into the booze trade. All right. Hit start. Load it up. Welcome to Atlantic City, boss. Let's look around our new home. Freddy Fuckface Tonino. That's what I'm gonna call him. Cause every Italian mobster, I'm assuming he's Italian because of his name and also because I like to judge everybody by stereotypes. And if you just look at his face, he looks like a face only a fuck, only a fuck could love. <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks, Freddy Fuckface. All right, so you can click on your mini map. You can. Dude, just like any RTS, you click on your mini map, it'll take you to that area. Got this. This is our base. Our base has a little hat over it, a mobster's hat. Now what we're doing is we need to gather information, which means you find little houses around the area with question marks. That means there's an informant within. You can either be a big spender or a cheers, and what it is is you're paying them off for information about buildings around the area by either spending money on them or giving them booze and we don't have any booze so we have to do big spender and hit start a little played a little bit so I know what I'm talking about in terms of the early stuff Freddy Fuckface Tonino everybody sucking up to boss makes me kinda sick to my stomach again if you did not catch the joke Freddy Fuckface Tonino because he has a face <laughs> only the fucks could love okay now, make sure when you finish the mission, you have to click this little icon when it has a, qu a check mark. Like you found a couple of yeah, yeah. Um, because if you don't, it doesn't register the stuff that you gain from completing the quest until you do that. So now that we've talked to this informant, it popped up some new icons around the town. We've got this one, which is a speakeasy, which we can sell booze to if we want. we got these two, which are have uh, illegal breweries hidden inside the premises. And on these, you can do a drive-by, a raid, or buy actual beer from them. But we don't have much money to work with. We have $45. Pretty sure buying beer, yeah, it costs $150. So what we're going to do is we're going to raid it. Hit Time start. My hands dirty. There are far too many opportunities. You're right, Freddy Fuckface. We're going to have to go and hire ourselves a brand new gangster for our, our, little, our little criminal empire. And the only option we have is this gentleman named Squigs. Which can only mean he got his, his nickname from Warhammer because he really likes squigs and goblins. And you know what? Anybody who plays Warhammer is a friend of mine, even though he's probably a horrible gangster. Hi, boss. Oh, God. I heard that you found some guys stealing illegal alcohol. We should steal their beer. Immediately we regret that decision. But we're going to have to do this anyway. Okay, we're going to have to go over here, raid this booze I won't beat with my the squig meister. He already has a nickname. We only have to come up with him, with one. All right, we're gonna hit the check mark. We're gonna get 21 booze from that. The good thing about Mr. Squigs, Squigmire, is that he is a burglar classification, so he gets actual more yield when he goes and raids places. So that's cool. Good work, boss. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got a ton of booze. We got 46, I believe, beers from that. 
Now, if you go over here, this is the jobs icon. We click on that. Shut up, Squigs. Shut up. And it'll show you various quest givers or people who are going to buy or sell things. And these are the different tabs. All we've got on here now is one in beer, which is Ben O'Connor. He's buying 30 beer for $450. I was almost hit by a brick on the road today. Now I'm rethinking my life. Mm -hmm. I should buy some beer, open a pub, and give up me life of crime and racketeering. You do realize that beer is illegal, but whatever. Just a little irony. Okay, so we're going to go and send this guy here, our boss, to get this done no as quick as possible. The job's on the way, boss. You can take it. Okay, so we got our boss going up to sell beer to Ben O'Connor. We're going to have 450 big, big-ass bu books. We're going to be completely on top of the list of stunners. We're going to be the number one stunner. And that's that's alright. Because you know what? Who doesn't want to be the number one stunner? As you can see, this is a fairly small neighborhood. But you get to move on to bigger neighborhoods. More posh neighborhoods. But you know what? This is a nice house, actually. Look at this thing. It's freaking huge. Nice property. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now we're going to hit the check mark. Boss, the job's done. Front face. We've got the money. We should use it to explore the district for more opportunities. You're right. You're right, Freddy. You're ugly, but you're right. Okay, so we're going to go to this guy. In. Another informant popped up. We're going to hit Big Spender on him. We're going to send, uh... We're going to send my guy, uh, Esh Leone, A real over boss there. ain't afraid of grumble. You're right. You're right, Esh. Real boss ain't afraid of whatever. Okay, so... Now you've got other options here, gang management, you got your jobs tab, you got your fire cell tab. What happens is you have a storage thing and you right now we are at 50 we can up to 50 things we can store. That's including anything we can buy or sell. That's booze, liquor and guns. Okay, we're done. Boss, I can't find squigs anywhere. Oh god. Freddy fuckface has lost squigs. So as you can see, we have a new thing here. This is like a quest giver guy. Send the boss to investigate what happened to Squigs. So we'll go over to this guy on the corner here. Talk to him. Don't give me no gum. Just tell me where the Squigs is. We'll click on this. Some people saw Squigs get jumped by three goons. They dragged them into their car and drove off away from the boardwalk. Oh shit. It's getting real. Real fast here, guys. Okay, so now we've got a little eye thing. It's an abandoned warehouse. People say that some shady characters have been seen going in and out of here. The description fits the goons that squig that took squigs. Let's go investigate. Time to get my hands dirty. It is. Our hands are about to be so dirty. We're gonna have to PRL those son of a bitch hands. Alright, so things should launch into epic shit right now. Now, we'll say the loading screens, while unfortunate, do have some good tips, so be sure you read those. Gives you a lot of tips on combat, the benefits of different weapons and stuff, so you should read them as you wait for the loading. Alright, so usually you have your full plethora of gangsters that you've hired to assign to this mission, but because Squigs is a fucking idiot, he is captured. As for now, we only have ourselves to go in and get, get shit done, if you know what I mean. Try to cripple enemies with armed armed with melee weapons right, to put effective. Okay, so that's cool. You can do cripple effects with melee attacks, but we're not a, we're not into that sort of stuff. We're gonna be straight up moving and shooting people in the face. As you can see, it is almost exactly like XCOM. Not quite as good looking, and by that I mean not even close to as good looking. Um, not as smooth. Not as it's kind of clunky. But it is really serviceable, to be honest. It's really pretty good, actually. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna head in here. I'll take care of him. You've encountered an enemy, so we're gonna we're gonna keep going in here. Yeah, you son of a bitch, I get it. If you don't fucking move to where I want you to move, okay. So we're behind cover. Now we have some options here. As you can see up here, this is the initiative stuff. This is the order in which people are going to get turns. You know, so we're, we're here, then the gangster, then we go, then the gangster, etc. We're behind cover, so we have a, some defensive posturing. We have some uh, different abilities. We have the regular quick shot, which is a good standard attack with your pistol. We got a precise shot, which does 50% less damage, but does ignore cover. And then we have 
stomach shot, which is a bleed. They take 10 damage each turn. And then we have our special ability, which is second win, which heals uh, half the damage taken and removes all negative conditions. And it recharges on a kill. So you would like to use this in theory at the beginning of a round because if you do kill someone by the end of your round, it will refresh it and you can use it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to just use our standard attack because he's not behind cover. He doesn't even know what's going to hit him. We're going to shoot him and just keep clicking on him until you're out of AP, which is uh, action points. We're out of it, so we can't do any, any actions. Oh, we did get managed to kill him with our final shot. That's all we really needed. You can hit spacebar to hit mm. to the next turn. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go just as far as we can, which is way back here. And it'll be red if you're not going to be able to make it. You can see the color of the footsteps. This is about as far as we could go in one turn. But it doesn't matter. So we're just going to go here. Double click on that. Make him go. Hit mm. spacebar. Continue on our way. It's Time to get a move on. And then these little wrenches are the quest thingies. We'll interact with it by clicking on it. And then we'll head back out here. And then uh, that should be good. We'll stay here. Ready, boss. And then we'll get squigs out here as well. Uh, I believe the reinforcements are going to arrive here. Gangsters don't even know what's going to happen. Time to get a move on. Don't even know here. So we're going to get over here behind this box. Now, we don't, we haven't found them yet. But we should soon. On it. We're going to send Squigs, the Squigmeister, Squigadini over here. No no vision on them yet, but hopefully we're going to go into defensive uh -huh. mode here. Which is his special ability, which gives him... Incoming attacks have 20% penalty hit chance, so they're e more easily missed when he's activated. Now here they are, entering the fray. They're gonna just shoot me in the fucking head. Yeah, you missed. The health bar, blah, blah, blah. You got your health bar down here. You can also see the HP number on each of these little cards. So we're gonna start shooting people. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely gonna start shooting people. Let's see. We're not gonna be able to kill anyone in this round, so there's no really no use in using second wind. So you got a 63 and a 33% chance. If I use my precise shot to ignore this barrier, we have a 77% chance. May as well shoot this guy though, I think. Okay, so we got him hit three times. That's pretty good. Now, squig, let's see what squigs can do here. Can you hit them? It's 40% chance, 40% chance. If we hit, if we use our precise shot, we have a 67% chance. Let's go ahead and use that. That took up a lot of AP, actually. So we'll go ahead and skip to the next round and hope this guy doesn't do too much damage. We're bleeding here. This guy. Oh, shit. They're really concentrating fire on this guy. So we're going to use our second wind now. Takes away the bleeding as well because it counts as a negative thing. We'll try to finish off one of these guys. We'll finish this guy with the nine health off. Really, Time to meet your go. maker. Refreshed it. Now we can use it again. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty freaking awesome. Okay. Now we're gonna go to Squigs. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can get behind this box. We'll go behind this box. We'll hit our number one, and we will shoot this guy several times. Just like a real G. Did miss the last two shots, but it's alright. Okay, this guy has nine health now. Oh god. Ready, boss! I didn't wanna what is he what? Okay. So we've got How did I get full health? Oh that's Squigs, never mind. Okay, so we'll move Squigs over here. Actually, we can move them all the way over here. Sweet. Kind of, kind of go. Okay, we're gonna just finish them off. Just finish I them shoot off. you, you fall down. All right, we killed all the enemies. We could have escaped by ignoring them and moving them to the door, I think. But you know what? They deserve to get shot in the face for their transgressions. We'll hit done. That's the end of the mission. We got two kills on Echelione, and I think Squig's got one.
Thanks for saving me. That went well. Dogs, boss. I would have taken them out myself if they hadn't snuck up on me like that. I'm sure you would have, Squigs. I'm sure you would have. Alright, so now we can level up, which is the last thing we'll do for the video, I believe. Give you a little look at this. We can go to our examine and hit level up, and now we can pick a perk. We These, uh, what are these called? Bold ones are the ones that we can actually pick from. We have a bunch of these, but they're level twos and so forth. Are we, it's recommending, I believe, this range specialist. And why not? It increases damage with range attacks by 10%. So we'll do that. And then we go back to the other page and we got Squigs to work on. So you level him up as well. Also range specialist because he also uses a pistol. Then as we get more levels in these guys, we can do some more customization. We should return to the task at hand, making money. You're right, Squigmeister. You're right. We need to make that cash. But in the meantime, this has been a really nice look at pretty much all the little, the main pieces that make up Omerta City of Gangsters, which you, again you can find on Steam for $39.99 US currency. And uh, I definitely recommend it. It's pretty sweet. I really like it. There's a whole lot more to it in terms of intricacies that you'll you'll get to unlock and do and take part in as you play more into the game. But I think you've gotten a great look at the standard play of the over-the-top sort of medieval type standard move across the map, do little jobs and this and that. And then you also got to look at the XCOM-esque combat of the game, which I think is pretty solid for such a, for like a, for what amounts to basically an indie game. And I really recommend it. I really do. And But I think the whole point of the Try It Out series is for you guys to decide, so I'm not going to be super biased. I will say that there, it's pretty smooth. I haven't run into any bugs or anything. And if you like the game, then buy it. If you don't like the game, then don't buy it. But if you like the video series and you want us to be play more of Murda, maybe in a Let's Play series, and be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that because I love you. And that's what you do to people you love. You subscribe to them. In the meantime, this has been Ash on Nerd Life playing Omerta here on the Try It Out series. Thanks for paying attention to me. I really like the attention. That's why I'm on YouTube. Smooches and play on players. Thank <laughs> you.